show you just how easy it is to create a QR code. There are plenty of websites that can help you do this, and most of them are free. Um, my favorite one is qrstuff.com, and it certainly doesn't hurt that it's a very easy name to remember. So as soon as you get to qrstuff.com, this page will pop up. Um, I'm going to make a very easy QR code for my website URL, so I'm going to keep this first circle clicked. A common one for classroom teachers would be a YouTube video. You could really stockpile your listening center with free YouTube videos. Um, just create a QR code linking your favorite YouTube read aloud um, and tape that to the inside of your book covers that you already have. That would be a great way to stockpile your listening center without having to go buy new books along with the corresponding CDs because I know that can get expensive. So back to this tutorial, we're just going to create a very easy website one, and I'm going to pick my website URL. Obviously, I've done this a couple times before, yourteacherslounge.com. I'm going to keep this at static instead of dynamic. The difference here is static is going to keep it exactly how it is, where dynamic is going to shorten it. If I had a really long URL, then I might want to shorten it just for ease, but I'm, mine's pretty short as it is, so... I'll keep it at static. Um, on to number three. You can keep it at black. That's very easy to see, um, especially to start out. I'm going to move mine to red just so it matches my apple. Um, if you had a very specific color that you wanted to match, you could always type it in right here. But I just kind of eyeballed it. I'm going to choose that red. And I'm done. This is just a simple standard QR code. Um, with in a different color and all I'm going to do is download it. If I save it, my computer is set up to save directly to my downloads folder. The easiest way to use this for me is in Microsoft Word. Um, I'm just going to create a little flyer. Here's my title, your teacher's lounge. Um, I'll have some more information on there and then I want my QR code so someone walking by can just click on it and go right to my website. So I'm going to insert the picture I just made and saved. It's already into, let's see, downloads. That's where my folder is, and that's the latest one I created. And, of course, you can resave that later in a different name. And then you can manipulate it, print it out, and you're set. Very easy. I hope that helps. Have a good day.